everybody welcome back to my channel I am so glad you're here today today is Monday September 23rd um, we are officially into the first yesterday was the first day of fall so we are shifting seasons um, although here in Michigan we are still pretty pretty warm for Michigan in September um, I am doing this video for my Monday video so I am Trying to play catch up now um, you guys don't even know this but I have been gone in the last month I have been gone on two different trips um, because I video ahead enough that I can do that you guys don't even know I'm missing so I am playing catch up today um, we uh, we spent time with our youngest son and his wife up in Presque Isle Michigan which is up by Lake Huron um, in the Alpena area we spent uh, five days up there with them and it was wonderful and then um, last week, we were actually on Mackinac Island. Uh, Scott's sister got married on the island. And so we were up there for five days. Um, and it was absolutely gorgeous up there. Um, it was for September on the island. Typically, when you think of going north any further than what we are right now, uh, you think cooler weather. And it wasn't at all. It was in the 80s. Uh, we are big. Um, we are bike riders, so we took our bikes. We probably rode 40 miles last week. Uh, we did a lot of walking and hiking. Um, and yeah, just really enjoyed ourselves. We had the one day with the wedding where that was pretty much all day. But other than that, we really enjoyed our time up there. It was beautiful and we, yeah, we, we have gone, Mackinac Island is like our thing. We used to go almost every year when the kids were younger. Um, we would go up every year and it has actually been three years ago we went up for a day we took some friends up there and but prior to that we hadn't been up since 2017 I think so this was our first time back and we do stay on the island um, which is an amazing experience if you ever get the chance um, we stay in the Windermere which is a Victorian house that's that's uh, set up it's not a bed and breakfast um, but it's set up like a hotel up there and um, we just love it up there. We always stay there. So yeah, so I'm playing catch up today and actually I'm jumping in now with my um, <laughs> my workout clothes on because we just got back from playing pickleball. So we started playing pickleball this summer and I absolutely love it. And so we play pickleball three days a week. So I wanted to quickly jump in before I go do anything else and get this video in and get it ready for this afternoon. Um, I do have a Fiber Friday video that I will be filming um, probably this afternoon or tomorrow um, and we're going to talk about some spinning techniques and Saturday is the Anderson Girl. Um, I mentioned it in a couple of videos back some of my fall events. Saturday I will be at Anderson Girl Orchard in Stanton, Michigan. Um, from 10 to 4 with the booth so I've got to get prepped and ready for that uh, so I have a lot of work to do this week so let's jump in this is my third and final wheel video that we're gonna do um, I've shown you my polywog I've shown you my new monarch my updated monarch and now I'm gonna show you my echo um, the echo is the most popular wheel um, in the Spinolution family of wheels and they have upgraded it. Um, actually, I'm gonna try to remember to slip a picture in here of the upgraded version of, they upgraded it in 2024. So this area here is different now. Um, they have upgraded it to, and I have my computer back here with all the bells and whistles that the Echo has. Um, it has a new treadle design. So I will hopefully pop a picture in here of the new treadle design because it is different right in here. Um, but I love this wheel. This is our, um, so the Polywog is our least expensive, smallest wheel that we have. And if you can, the price range difference is about, let's see, is it about $200 um, difference in the basic? Yeah, a little over 200 250 in the basic design, the basic Echo compared to the Polywog, the basic Polywog. Um, if you're not looking for a really small wheel and you're looking for a beginner, beginner wheel, this would be the one I would send you to. This is a great little wheel and it has lots of options that you could switch out on it. 
um, to make it a much more versatile wheel if you want to. So mine is just the four ounce basic Echo wheel. Um, and mine is two years old, I think now. I've had this for two years. Um, if you remember a few videos back, I was talking about not having my Monarch um, because I had shipped it out to be redone. And I was working on, I think I was plying some yarn and I was talking about, it was a Fiber Friday video and I was talking about, I wish I had my Monarch right now because that has my eight ounce and my 16 ounce um, flyer head. And a few days, like a week later, I realized Da Renee, this also has the option, since I have for my Monarch the 8 ounce bobbin flyer head and I have the 16 ounce flyer head, I have the option to use that on my Echo and I didn't even think about it until a couple weeks later. So this is also a modular wheel. The pin is right here. You undo this and you lift the head off just like the ones that I showed you on my Monarch. I'll try to pop the video in here of that one. Um, so I can, I could and did end up putting my eight ounce flyer head on my Echo while my Monarch was gone. Um, but it took me a while to figure that out. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. This also has the same capabilities of using the yarn um, winder that I have for my Monarch and the lazy cape that fits on the back. It also has a slot for that. So again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, go back to my Monarch video and you'll see all the accessories. They also fit with this. So this is also, I would consider this very easily a travel wheel. It is not a heavy wheel. Um, let's see, how heavy is this? 14 pounds. So, and where the Lazy Kate goes in, this slot right here is where it fits in. It's a perfect handle too. So you can carry this very easily um, in, if you wanted to take it to spin somewhere, um, this is just a little bit bigger than the Polywog and it probably has a little bit more bang for it, buck. um, just the, the treadle is different. And by looking at the new treadle design, um, it's even more different. If you remember, I talked about the Polywog just has like toe pedals. Um, the Echo has uh, a bit more where the Polywog is just a thin strip for your toes. The Echo pedals are wider, and so that is a big difference. Um, some people do not prefer the toe pedal on a Polywog just to sit down and do it. I have had to, I've gotten used to it, so now it doesn't even, um, it, I don't even think about it. But when I first got it, it was difficult to get used to that. So this is more of a full fit. Um, front of your foot pedal on these. Um, this is, again, you could put all of the things on it, the Lazy Kate, the, um, the yarn winder all fit on this, like I said. Um, this comes in a four ounce option, eight ounce option, 16 ounce option, and 32 ounce option if you were going to buy it just, you know, and I have the four ounce option. Um, and then you can buy the extra flyer heads to go on this, which I have for my Monarch, so they fit on here. Um, it has laser engraving that you can get done. I have not gotten any of that done, but you can get that done, and they have a new design that just came out this year too, if you're looking for that. Um, this one also does have studio packages, just like my Monarch does. So if you wanted to get this, it includes two flyer sizes, so you can pick um, the four and eight ounce, um, the accelerated four ounce and eight ounce, the four ounce and 16, the four ounce accelerated, the 16 ounce, um, the 18, 16, eight and 32 ounce, and 16 and 32 ounce. So all of those are possible if you get the studio package, you get um, three bobbins of each of the flyer that head that you have. So if you have the four and the eight, you would get three fours and three eights. Um, same as with my Monarch studio package. So that's kind of nice. Um, you also get the Lazy Kate, the Scheme Winder, and both the hook and the tube orifices. Um, I have the hook orifice on here right now. I've showed you the tube orifice that comes with my Monarch Studio Package. So the Studio Package is the same for either um, any of the ones that offer the Studio Package. You're going to get all the same stuff in there. So um, let's see what else. It does have the pegs for the flyer guides. Um, it has, like I said, it's 14 in, or about 14 pounds. 
It's 28 and a half inches high and it's 12 inches wide deep if you're thinking about storing it somewhere. Um, most of the time my wheels are in my living room. <laughs> They're just part of the furniture in here. So um, this is a great size. Um, so you can spin fine to bulky on here. It has the open orifice hooks. They all have the magnetic bobbins that snap on and then the magnetic thing here. Um, that's basic for all of the wheels. The drive band change is super easy. Um, right here, I think you can see it, I have a band. And you open this up. Let's see here. There we go. Open this up and take off the band and then you would loop it back in, close it and put the thing back on there and that's how you change the band, super simple. Um, I'm trying to remember, I'm, I think that when I got this in the mail, um, because I've talked about this before, when I first got my Ashford Traveler wheel many, many years ago, like 20 years ago, um, I got it in the mail in pieces and it took me like two hours to put that spinning wheel together. and. Um, you know, no, no YouTube back in the day, so I just hoped that I, following the directions, I put it together right. These wheels are super nice because they, the polywog, you open the box and you're spinning if you want. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, the only thing I had to do was to put on, right here, there's two screws for the, your footrest, that was it. So otherwise, this comes as one piece. So that's super nice when you're thinking about having to put something together. Um, they're all quiet um, spinning wheels, very quiet. Talked about that before, ergonomically designed. This does have a small footprint. I would consider this a small footprint um, spinning wheel. It's not as small as my Polywog, but it's the next step up. So a little bit more space and you've got this one covered to store it. Um, yeah, so, and of course they're all made in the United States. So that's a bonus too. Um, yeah, so if I had a choice, um, so I love my Monarch wheel, but it's a big wheel, and if I can only choose one of the three that I have right now, this would probably actually be my choice. Um, I have drifted back and forth between, depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I say the Polywog's my favorite because of the size, um, but this is really a go-to wheel for me. Um, Especially now that my brain has figured out that I can switch my flyer heads, that makes it even more uh, more usable for me to do different things. I can switch out and, and because typically what I do is spin onto four ounce bobbins for the most part, depending on what I'm doing. If I'm not doing art yarn, I'll spin onto the four ounce bobbins and then I will ply it onto the eight ounce fl flyer head with the eight ounce bobbins. So that's how I do my um, spinning most of the time. Now that I have that knowledge that this is switchable with all of my flyer heads, it kind of makes this one even more of my favorite. Um, so it's a great wheel. Um, and yeah, I think that covers all of it. Um, if you ever, I will put the link down below, but if you wanna go through and look at our different things, you can go to the Spin Illusion website, it has pictures and all the information, the ratios and everything you would wanna know. Um, on the wheels. I'll put that down below in the description box. And if you ever want to see my wheels, again, I will be in um, Stanton at the Anderson Girls Orchard on Saturday. All of my wheels will be with me that day. Um, I have a fiber mill day coming up in um, Riverdale. Is that right? I think it's Riverdale, which is um, near Alma, Ithaca, Alma area, Michigan, if you're local. Um, I will be there with my um, all three of the wheels on October 12th at her open fiber day that she has at the mill. Um, and then, yeah, so you'd be able to see them, try them out. That's why I have them. So if you want any more information, please comment below. You can send me an email and I'd be glad to get you more information about a spinning wheel and I can help you get them ordered. Or if you'd like to try one, um, shoot, me, shoot me an email and we'll see if we can figure that out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that like dis like button down below. Um, all of my information is in the description box. And if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. Um, it does help me out. This is how I do a lot of my businesses through YouTube. And, um, and I try to give you guys a lot of information too, so that you can 
have a place to go for all of your questions that I didn't get answered in the beginning of my journey and kind of had to find out as I went along. And I'm still finding stuff out. There's stuff I learn every week, it seems like, that I'm like, oh, I did not know that. So hopefully you find this helpful. I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday.